Hi, and welcome to Majestic.cloud. I am Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to use S3 events to send out uh, email notifications whenever an upload or a delete operation happens in your S3 bucket. So let's get started. We will start by uh, creating a bucket in S3. So I will name it Majestic Notifications Email for example and let's click on create and it should be here now what we need uh, we will need the, the bucket RN um, let's copy the bucket RN for the moment and uh, let's go to uh, SNS we will use uh, SNS to deliver uh, email notifications for this we need to create a topic so let's create a topic we we'll name this topic notifications from s3 for example and uh, here we will uh, need to modify the access policy later but uh, for now i will show you without modifying the, um, the the access policy so let's create the topic we have the topic and now uh, we'll need to create a subscription so let's create a subscription here uh, we can choose between uh, many types of protocols for this subscription so we'll use email but you could use also http so, uh, like you could send a notification to a web service uh, that is behind uh, this uh, an http address or you can send the notifications to sqs or aws lambda or even to your phone via sms uh, but let's use email for now and um, it will ask for an email I will put hello at majestic.cloud we will need to confirm this email uh, let's create on the subscription creating the subscription and let's go to um, here okay I already have the email in which uh, it asks me to confirm this subscription I have confirmed it, let's close it, delete this one because I don't need it anymore and let's go back to here in this uh, bucket, we will go to the properties tab and I will show you where the events uh, settings are, here is on the properties, down here we have events, if I click here on the events um, I can add a notification and here you can choose what kind of operations you want a notification for. I will choose all object create events and all object delete events but you can choose uh, some other thing. You could, you could also restrict this to only a prefix or a suffix but uh, I will use uh, everything so for the whole bucket and here I can choose where do I send the notification I will send it to an SNS topic and here I have uh, this topic I've created and if I will choose this one it will say that I don't have permissions it should say that I don't have permissions yeah it's a unable to validate the following destination yeah because permissions on the destination topic do not allow S3 to publish notifications from this bucket so let's go back to uh, SMS and let's fi fix this uh, let we go to the topics uh, section and here we click on edit and here on the access policy we can go here and here we have a condition which says uh, that um, publishing to this topic is only allowed if the owner is this uh, account but um, we will remove this and we will put there the um, RN of the bucket we have created and that RN we copied before if you remember so here at, uh, for the condition we will put instead of string equals RN like and here where it says source owner we will uh, modify it to source rn so it means that uh, this source rn which we will paste here this rn is allowed to uh, 
publish and do these actions on this topic. So let's save this uh, policy change we've done and let's go back to S3 and let's try again. And this time it allowed me to uh, save this uh, event. Okay, so let's go back to my bucket and um, I will go quickly here. Uh, I have a notification that uh, it's, this is a test event because I've created that uh, subscription. I will delete this, go back and upload now a file. So let's add the file. I have this CSV file here. Let's click on upload. Uh, it, it's uploading right now. Uh, it's a big file. Mm, I should have chosen a smaller one. Uh, once it finishes uh, uploading, I should uh, get um, a notification in my uh, inbox. Let's wait for it. It should not take that long. Okay, and um, it should right now be done and I should get an email. And you see I've got an email. It says that an object was created. It says uh, some details about the user, IP address and all kinds of stuff. And it's also the, the file name and the file size and stuff like that. So let's delete this one and go back to uh, S3 and also delete the file from here. Let's delete this file and I, sh I should also get a notification for this delete. Okay, let's wait for it. And here it is. I have a notification, object remove delete, also the same details that I had uh, before. And that's it. Basically, this is how you um, set up uh, event, uh, S3 events to get notifications um, whenever some uh, operation occur on your S3 bucket. And as I said, this could be uh, um, very useful if you want to send out um, uh, notifications to your um, web service, for example, instead of, uh, of an email, as I said, you can uh, add here an HTTP endpoint or you could, could use AWS Lambda to react to this, uh, uh, this um, operation and so on. So I hope you find uh, this video useful. If you did, uh, please click on the uh, like button. Also uh, subscribe to majestic.cloud to stay updated uh, and get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So have a nice day.